everyone. Today we are going to learn how to type an essay on your Office 365 account. So you guys are familiar with making a PowerPoint in Office 365. You all did PowerPoints, or most of you did, for Miss Lucero's class. Um, so we're just going to show you how to do a Word doc on there. It's really pretty simple and similar. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and sign on to your Clever. I'm on Jimmy's Clever account today, so that way you can see it from a student view. Shout out to Jimmy Tan. Thank you, sir. We're going to go ahead and click on Office 365. If you don't have it saved, all you need to do is scroll down and find it and then heart it or love it. So that way it shows up on your favorite resources. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And it'll ask you to pick an account. So choose the one with your lunch number on it. It may have you type your lunch number. That's okay. You're just going to go ahead and type your lunch number and then put the at symbol hcps.net. It'll do the same thing. So I'm going to click there. I'm going to hit no just because I'm not really going to be working in Jimmy's account. Um, but you guys can hit yes if you're working on your own. If you have siblings or anyone else that you're sharing this with, you may want to hit no also so it doesn't keep logging you into your sibling's account. So I'm going to hit no. All right, so there's his Office 365 page. As you can see, he worked on a PowerPoint with um, Daniel from our class. That PowerPoint was for science. We are going to work on a Word document today. So we're going to click here on the blue box that says Word. And then we're going to click on New Document. Perfect. I'm already go going to go ahead and name it. And I'm just going to put Jimmy Tan Python's test or practice rather. So that way when if he does decide to type this, he can rename it Jimmy Tan Python's for real. You know, um, you guys, I would put your first and last name and just title it Python's. All right. So what's cool about Microsoft Word on Office is that it saves it as you go. So it'll save it to your Office Cloud at all times, so you don't have to worry about losing any of your information. We're gonna go ahead and start typing. And we're gonna go ahead and just type your first and last name to the side. We're gonna press Enter. And we're gonna hit these three dots that say more paragraph options. Click, paragraph options here. I'm going to go ahead and do line spacing single, and I'm going to align it center right now and hit OK. I'm just going to tile it Python's practice for right now. Okay. You guys can think of a better creative title if you'd like. If not, just put Python's. It's fine. I'm going to press Enter. I'm going to go back to my three dots, the ellipses here paragraph options, and now go back to left, leave it at single, hit OK. And now we're going to start at the left. You still need to indent, boys and girls. You guys know how to start a paragraph, and we indent. How do we do that on a computer? You are going to look at your keyboard, and all the way at the left, you should have a button that says tabs. You're going to hit tab once. Tab. And it indents. Okay. How to type capital letters. You're going to hit shift on your keyboard. Hold it. Keep holding it. And then use the letter that you want and release. Okay. So I'm just going to type Pythons. We probably don't want to start our hook with that. You guys know what to do. I'll make sure to do another mini lesson for you guys. All right. So just for the purposes of how to get to your next paragraph, 
right now I'm just gonna kind of type some lines so you can see what it would look like okay just line on a line you can see that it doesn't start where the capital P is because it's indented it's going 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 stop so I'm gonna end it with a period okay so we're gonna pretend this is our paragraph I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter and yay it already indented for us because it knows we're gonna start a another paragraph if it doesn't it's not a big deal because you know how to indent now you're just gonna hit tab and then you'll go ahead and start with a transition so we'll just practice transitions I'll start with as I mentioned blah 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 right so same thing we're just gonna keep going keep going 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 you guys will probably have lengthier paragraphs, obviously, with more words, blah, 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 okay. Just going to pretend, obviously, yours is going to be much longer. And another transition we know. As I... Stated, comma, okay, oops. Oops, this probably won't happen normally. Okay, you get the idea. Um, if you guys need some more help with this, just let me know. I will definitely walk you through how to actually type. Again, this is not mandatory at all. You do not have to type it on here. You can write on the paper in your packet, or if you forgot your packet, you can write on normal paper. That's fine. I just want to give you that option because some of you might enjoy typing and this is the time to actually get to type your essay so okay so let's pretend we're finished now how do i get it how do you get it to mrs scaredo we are just going to hit share and you're actually going to put my name so you're going to start typing it nicole even just with IZQU, because I know my name is kind of weird to spell, you can go ahead and click it. It'll say Nicole Scarito grade five. I promise I'm the only Nicole Scarito grade five on here, so I'll get it. And that's it. You're going to send it. You can put a little message in there if you'd like. And after that, you can just hit send. And I will receive it on my end. Okay? So that is how we type an essay. I'll do some mini lessons for you on there on writing to help you guys out. And again, you can still take pictures, send it in through Remind if you'd like. If not, you can totally type on here. All right, hopefully this was helpful and happy writing.